Hello and welcome to episode 3 of our tutorial on how to make a basic top-down 2D endless shooter. In this video we'll be doing damage and making our generic enemy AI. Let's start with creating a new script called health. In this we'll be dealing with the HP of whatever game object this script is attached to. Uh, this will include HP regen and death, so let's start with public float max health equals 100 public float health equals 100 public float regen equals 0 public float regen rate equal to 1 bull is dead equal false animator in animator next in our start function we want to write health equal to max health animator equal to get component animator we then want to create some custom functions so we want one called uh, public void take damage and it takes in an integer named damage we then want another one called void die and then an i enumerator called hp regen we then want to go back into our start function and create start coroutine with HP regen. Next we want to move down to our take damage function and write in there health minus equals damage. Then we do if health is less than zero and is dead is false. Then inside that if statement is dead is equal to true so we can only run this if statement once. Then if statement again, game object dot tag equal to player. Uh, leave that empty. Else animator dot play death. Next in the die function, we need destroy game object. We then move to the HP region uh, enumerator and we want to write in there while true yield return wait for seconds regenerate and then under that if health is smaller than max health we want health plus equal regen so this will wait a certain amount of time based on our regen rate and then if our health is less than our max hp then we want it to regen based off how high our regen is with the health script, we can now have our player and enemy take damage, but first we want to go to our B death animation and add an event at the end of the die anim uh, animation. So the enemy game object will be removed when the death animation finishes. We want to look at our bullet prefab now, and we want to enter and go to the line renderer and change the opacity on the color so the end of the trail will have the opacity of zero. This will make the bullet trail fade over time. We then want to open the bullet script and add the ability to damage our enemies. So what we want to do is write another variable called public game object hit fx and then in a function called void on trigger enter with collision 2d collision we want to write if collision dot transform dot tag is equal to enemy then instantiate hit fx comma transform dot position comma transform dot rotation then in a new line we want collision dot transform dot get component health dot take damage and then damage and then after that we want destroy game object so now when a bullet hits an enemy We'll have a, a hit effect that will spawn and we'll have an enemy that takes damage based on the damage that we have set in our weapon script. With our bullet script done, we want to head back to Unity and create our hit effect. So we do this by creating a particle system in the hierarchy. Let's name it enemy hit. We want the duration set to one second on the particle system. We also want looping is equal to false. Start life between two constant, uh, 0.1 and 
we also want the start speed of our particle to be between 20 and 50. We want our start size to be between two constants as well, which will be 0.1 and 0.2. And then our simulation space will be world. We want our emissions to be a burst, so rates are zero. And we add a burst time, which will also be set to zero. Count is 20, cycles is 2, and the interval is 0.1. Our shape will be a cone, angle is 10, radius is the smallest we can go, so place in a 0 and then press enter, and it should be uh, 0 0.0001, or something like that. We want to enable color over lifetime, so make the color red and end with an opacity of zero, so it will disappear over time. We want to then move on to the renderer of our particle system, and our material will be default line. We want to save this as a prefab, and we will call this from our bullet, so we need to drag and drop our enemy hit into our bullet hit FX. With our B in the hierarchy, we also want to create a new tag for the bee called enemy. This will make sure that our bullet is hitting a game object which is marked as an enemy. With this completed, we want to now create a new script called enemy. In here we want to create basic movements and attacking for our bee. So let's start with a new line and write serialized field private int movement speed equals 8. Serialized field again, private int bounce force equals 1000. Serialized field private int damage equals 10. Next, we want to do space on a new line in square brackets, and then public int reward on death equals 10. Below that, we want game object player and rigid body RB. A rigid body 2D, sorry. In the start function, we then want to write player equals game object dot find game object with tag player and RB equals get component rigid body 2D. Next, we want to create a new function called follow player, and in this function, we want transform dot up equal to player dot transform dot position minus transform dot position. On the next line we want RB dot add force in brackets transform dot up times movement speed. We then want to add a follow player into our update function. Next, in our enemy script, we want a onCollisionEnter 2D, and in that function, we want if collision.gameObject.tag is equal to player, then rb.addForce in brackets transform dot up times negative bounce force end of brackets, and then on the next line, collision.gameObject.getComponentHealth dot take damage damage else if collision dot game object dot tag is equal to enemy then we want if in brackets random dot range 0 to 100 is greater than 50 we want rb dot add force transform dot write times random dot range 0 comma negative bounce force and then end of all the brackets <laughs> else rb dot add force bracket transform dot forward times random dot range 0 comma negative bounce force again so in this script our B will rotate towards the player and move in that direction. On collision with the player, the player will then take damage, and the B will be thrown backwards. If the B collides with another B, 
we want it to bounce off and with a random amount of force. With our script complete, we want to add it to our B game object we have in the hierarchy. We also want to add a health script to our B and then move to our player and add the same health script to that. We want to change our regenerate to 0.5, so then our player will regenerate health every 0.5 seconds. Let's make our B a prefab, so when we create our wave spawner, we can create multiple Bs. In the next video, we'll be continuing by making our wave manager, audio manager, and game controller. So we'll have audio, waves, and a controller to manage upgrades, our HUD, ability to pause and many more options we'll add later on. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in part 4.